Typekit is the easiest way to use real fonts on your website. That means, as a web designer and developer, you no longer have to limit yourself to a handful of WebSafe fonts or rely on complicated workarounds that use Flash or images, which can impact your site's searchability and accessibility. Typekit lets you use thousands of high-quality, licensed web fonts that are optimized for the web and work in any modern web browser, all with only standards-based HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let's take a look at how it works. We'll start with a web design project called The Pluralist, which is already in progress. The design includes a heading here with the text Make Your Move. You can see it's currently styled with a generic serif web safe font, but we want something with a little more style and power. Let's head to Typekit to find the perfect typeface. Because this is a new Typekit account, we need to create a kit, and that's just Typekit's name for a collection of fonts for a particular website. Next, to enable the site for Typekit, we just need to copy these two lines of JavaScript and add them to the HTML head element of the page for the pluralist. So I'll switch over to the code and paste it in right there in the head element. Now we're ready to go back to Typekit and use Typekit's browsing tools to find the perfect font. We know we want a serif font, and because we want something with impact, we'll look for something that is heavy and probably wide as well. So there, the Madrone looks like a perfect choice. Let's add that to our kit. And the next step, to provide the fonts to the Pro List, we just have to publish that kit. The next step is to actually apply the font Madrone to particular elements of the Pluralist's HTML. Now, Typekit provides a number of ways to do that, but we'll use the one that's most familiar to us as web developers, and that's adding the font family name to the CSS of the site. So we'll copy that there for Madrone and switch back over to the code for the Pluralist. And here in the style sheet, we'll add that font family name to the CSS for that headline. Now we'll save that and switch back over to the Pluralist where we will refresh the page and see that headline now beautifully styled with Madrone. And that's just one example of using Typekit to add rich typography to your websites.